Good morning and welcome to UCLA. Um, my name is Richard Wessel. I'm the Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs for the School of Engineering. And I'll be the Master of Ceremonies for this morning's events. Um, and I'd like to start off, well, um, we're all engineers and I like graphs. So let's take a look at a graph. Um, so, um, wow, you've been through this stressful admissions process, um, worried about which schools you were going to be accepted to, and now you've got some choices to make about where to go. And this graph is, so the real message of this graph is that you can relax. Um, and um, you don't have to worry about making exactly the right choice. Any of your choices will be fine, okay? So let's talk about what this graph says. Um, the x-axis is uh, various different schools organized by their admission rate, okay? So the schools to the left are super hard to get into and the schools to the right are not as hard to get into. And then uh, there are a bunch of dots and, and the y-axis is the 20 year average annual return on degree. In other words, how much money did you make over your 20 years of that degree? Okay, and so as an engineer, looking at this graph, what I see is it doesn't seem to matter very much where you went to school. I mean, there might be other factors like, you know, just what kind of a person you are that give some local variance, but when you look at the expected value, it doesn't really matter that much. So go where you want, it'll be fine. Um, but but it, it does matter whether you're a, a blue dot or an orange dot. <laughs> I'd like to be an orange dot. Oh, I am an orange dot. Um, so it turns out that you, you've already made an excellent choice to be an engineer. Um, we live in a world driven by technology and probably the most critical decision that you made is that you want to be a player in the world of technology, not a spectator. Um, and so you need to figure out where you're going to go, what, what university you're going to be at to pursue that but you should relax and feel comfortable to go to the place where you'll be the happiest in that experience. Um, so I think, oh, we have more, I love graphs. Let's take a look at another graph. Um, so now this is a graph about how difficult it is to get into UCLA. Um, and it, what's happened over the years, so I've been giving this talk for a while now, and every year I could talk about how, well, we're becoming more selective um, because, so this is a more complicated graph, we're kind of a nuanced quantitative discussion. Um, so the, for years I've been saying that, well, we're more selective because the number of students that we can take is fixed by the state. And by the way, you guys can complain about that, um, that there should be more engineers educated in California. That's something that uh, Dean Murphy and I and all the chairs that you're gonna hear from agree about. Um, but, um, so for years, our target has been fixed but the number of students who applied has been increasing because people are figuring out, hey, it's great to be an orange dot, I wanna study engineering, that's what I'm gonna do. Last year, we, along with the rest of the world, saw a demographic shift where the, our number of applicants actually fell, not as much as two years before, but it fell from the previous spike, the just, the just previous year. And so, that would be great, it would be a chance for us to take a breath and not become yet more selective. Because actually, as far as I'm concerned, you know, in my experience with admissions, we don't need to be more selective. All the students that we met are truly qualified to excel in our programs, and there are more students that we didn't have room for that would have also been. So I'd like to be less selective, not more. Um, but unfortunately, there's something else that happened. Well, depends on which side, you're, how you think about it. I mean, there are ways about this result that makes me, there are aspects of this that make me very happy. Um, so, Last year, take a look at the, the, um, the number of students that, ex oh, yeah, so you can see that we actually admitted fewer students this year than the year before, even though we're still trying to hit the same target. 
And that's because the number of people who accepted our offer increased dramatically, the percentage of people who accepted our offer increased dramatically um, last year. And so we have the same target, slightly fewer applicants, but now we know that more people are gonna take our offer because you're figuring out um, what a great place it is to study engineering. So um, with that, um, what I wanted to say is that this, this is an incredibly selective process, but, but you've succeeded at it. You're, you're sitting here in Royce Hall, you have the opportunity to come to UCLA, and the rest of today is about letting you learn as much as you can about what it's like to be a student at UCLA to inform that decision. Um, and um, so what we're gonna do in this morning session is try to give, because many of you um, in high school don't have that much of an experience to delve deeply into what each branch of engineering does. It was enough to figure out you wanna be an engineer, let alone pick a major. Um, so you, a lot of, most of you have picked a major, but we'd like you to know about the entire breadth of the department. So what we're gonna do in this session is um, our Dean, Dean Murphy, is gonna give a welcome to you as well, and then we're gonna go through each of the departments and just give you a brief summary of what those departments are about so you have a good sense of the overall picture so that then you can, in the afternoon, go to your department and listen to what's going on in your specific department with a better sense of context. 